Everton will get a throw here because they've tried to play it into the wide areas and they couldn't find the uh, play that they were trying to pick out. And this is now time for the change, or the changes, I should say. There are two players coming on. Well, there's a big support here for them. And those supporters want to see just a little bit more in the time that remains. Well, there's always pressure on you when you're playing in front of a big crowd, your own fans, and the players have shown a few nerves out there today. They've got to lose those. We're down now to the final two minutes of the 90. And now the referee says free kick. And Harris to Bennett. Harris. The referee has goes the board. There will be, be two minute. added minutes. Two minutes. And Good two way minutes. to nick the ball back. Quick thinking. Well, you can't knock the fans. They're trying to do their bit to push the team on for an equaliser here. And that's the end of the match, and it's 2-1. A confirmation then of their success in this cup tie today. Well, they sailed close to the wind once or twice, some good saves from the keeper, but I think they just about deserve this win. Some final thoughts on one of the better performers today, Alan? Oh, lots of energy, lots of quality, and a good goal, along with plenty of chances.
scrape these monuments, a false sense of permanence. I've placed faith in geography to hold you in my memory. I'm sitting through these wreckage piles. Well, here he is, the top scorer in the league, the main feature of our match today, and it's live. Hi there again, everybody. Martin Tyler along with Alan Smith for your commentary today on this match, which is going to have an extra factor to it, the heavy rain that's been falling. Yeah, the ball is going to skid across the surface. I did used to like these kind of conditions because you get one or two mistakes if you're on your toes it's one or two goals about for strikers going well as we check on the league table here crystal palace well we're well past the halfway mark in this season aren't we and they've still got a, a great show to finishing in a champions league spot i mean if they could see it through what a huge difference it would make to this football club number seven harry arter and number 33 Here's the 11 fielded by Cardiff City today. He looks as though the manager has set up a team here. Whatever happens, we're not going to be beaten today. does look that way, doesn't it? And uh, I hope it's not a dull affair, this, because we've seen this manager set up teams in the past and just concentrating on a clean sheet. How does Phil Town have this team at their disposal today? Eric Durham starts, despite looking shaky in recent games. And it's good to see that they've got two strikers looking to provide the goal threat for them. What's this game going to bring us? We'll find out very shortly now, won't we? Because the game is underway. Morrison. Gregory Cunningham. Gunnison. Really getting at the opposition this far up the pitch now. Trying to thread a pass through, but not successful. Getting the ball back and thinking attack straight away. Lerva. Can find some space here on the flanks. And there is some uh, backup for him in this position. Building steadily here, keeping possession. They were right at the opposition then, but it's broken down disappointingly. Cunningham. Gunnison. Salah. Joseph Bennett, and this is going to come to the aid of Cardiff City, the advantage rule, they can keep going forward. Gunnison. Cunningham. Gunnison. He's going to try it! How about that for a goal? It's given them the breakthrough, and they've had to work very hard to find a way through this defence. But when it came, it was superbly taken. And they're absolutely thrilled with the way they've got the lead here. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Junior Hoylett. Gunnison. Oh, his teammates will thank him for that. It's a very tight game between these two on the home ground of the team that's slipping it through played in the clear could get the ball into the box now 
thought they were in to score there. That's offside. Referee has stopped the play as soon as the flag went up. Morrison. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width into this attack. Gregory Cunningham. Morrison. Jonathan Hogg. Well, suddenly they could be on the counter-attack. It's a good way to nick the ball back. Quick thinking. Interesting to see what footwear the teams are going to actually use today now that this uh, rain is coming down. Might have to change what they originally started with. Yeah, and I think sometimes with the lads wearing blades these days, you do see them slipping a bit more. And uh, it might mean they have to change halfway through this match. Got the tackle in. Incisive pass. Brilliant pass. Can he finish it? Still got a bit to do, but this is promising. And shoots! Maybe thinking a bit of the cameras. Run for the photo album with that save. Yeah, and I think his positioning made it easier than it might have been. In goes the corner. Well, the kind of save, that's hit the bar and it's still in play. Defended well. Salah. Junior Hoylett. Lots of support from these fans. I'm watching a good team performance here. He can cross it now. Good distance to the clearance then. Shots on here. Tried to find the winning ticket in the raffle, but a couple of numbers short. Yes, he took it early though. Well, thank you to the goal line technology, because that has confirmed what we really couldn't see with the naked eye. It is no goal, Alan. Well, this is where the new technology is so handy. It clears up any controversy. It was close, but as we can see, no goal. Salah using his physical power to protect the ball. Now, Junior Hoylett. The referee has indicated there will be a minimum... He's tried that from long range. On its own. Strong, powerful clearance. Now he's got the ball. What's he going to do with it? Well, the referee has signalled for half-time, and it's 1-0 here. Referee just checking everything is in order, and he blows for the second half to start. Lerva. Probing with the pass. And now we'll have a goal kick. Goalkeeper goes down and comes away with the ball. Well played. Yeah, it was brave goalkeeping. He didn't shirk the challenge, did he? Neatly intercepted. Going to be a throw now after the tackle. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? Well, he played really well, didn't he? And he got himself a goal to put his team ahead. He'll be pleased with that first 45 minutes. Well, a corner to come because of that deflection. You have to feel sorry for those fans. It's all been happening up the other end, but uh, chance here to swing a good corner in. Out in front of goal. He's got a chance to cross. Cleared it well. Well, a real treat in store for you. Coverage on EA Sports of the Premier League fixture. Cardiff City, they'll be facing Newcastle United away from home. Yeah, a lot of people have been talking about this one. Looking forward to it. Huddersfield Town, their next game. Alan, what about that? They're playing Manchester City in their next match. And they... Another shot! Whoa, that's flown over the bar. Oh, the crowd were up on their feet there. That was a spectacular effort. Jonathan Hogg to be replaced by number eight, Philip Billing. Manchester City are making the headlines in the transfer market. Yeah, it seemed the price was going up every week and it's reached about 55 million. So the newspapers tell us. Patience is the name of the game at the moment. Joseph Bennett 
Just making sure that each pass is successful. When they'll see the chance for a forward pass, they'll flick a switch. Gregory Cunningham. Lost the ball. Couldn't keep it. Substitute coming up for the away team. Gunnarsson to Bennett. He's got some room out here in the wide position. Gunnarsson. Read that well with the interception. The referee has awarded this free kick. Well, they're still trailing and they need to do something now if they want to get back into this game. Maybe some fresh legs will do the trick. Good defensive clearance there. Let's fly! Aaron Moy, just over a quarter of an hour left on my watch. Can find some space here on the flanks. Room for the cross. Got up well, Alan, came close. Yeah, a bit of space in the box and connected with it really well. He screened the ball well there. Fantastic game, this, and it's going to go right down to the wire. Well, you have to play it the way you're facing sometimes, even if you're facing your goalkeeper all that distance away. The noise levels have gone up even more, and the scenario remains the same. The one goal lead, and we're into the last 10 minutes. By well, the way, things are shaping up. It looks like the home team are going to see out this lead, but still a chance for things to change. Room now out on the wing. I think the cross is on. Wants to hit it now. The referee's given a corner. Here we're going to have a substitution. And it seems as though it's for tactical reasons. Here's a chance to go down the outside of the opposition. It's the keeper who's sending out the message here. And they're doing as they're told as well. Look at them. Well, there's one for him to chase in behind. He's got his shot off now. Well, there's going to be three minutes added on. There will be a minimum of three minutes. Of well, we're down to the last minute here. Christopher Schindler. And that will be a free kick. He's keeping us guessing here. Not quite sure what he's going to do. And shoots! The keeper might be needed again. He didn't hang on to the ball. It's finished here. So they've won again, that could put them in an even better position. They're going to challenge Alan, I think. I think there might be a surprise package here. Nothing too many predicting glory for them at the end of this season, but they're heading in the right direction. One of the better performers today, Alan. Oh, lots of energy, lots of quality, and a good goal, along with plenty of chances. Gunnarsson. Gonna try it! How about that for a goal? It's given them the breakthrough, and they've had to work very hard to find a way through this defence. But when it came, it was superbly taken. In goes the corner. 
Well, the kind of save. That's hit the bar and it's still in play. Well, thank you to the goal line technology because that has confirmed what we really couldn't see with a naked eye. It is no goal, Alan. Well, this is where the new technology is so handy. It clears up any... Con Well, the main story here is we are going to see in action the top scorer in the league. And it's live. Hi there, everybody. I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith is with me. And we're at St. James's Park in Newcastle. The match today is Newcastle United against Cardiff City. Here is the Newcastle United one. Number 19, Manquillo. Number 18. Well, when you're a forward and you come into a new club, you know from your own experience, Alan, you want to make a good start. Here's his chance. It's his start today. Yeah, a goal here would certainly help his cause. It would relax him. You don't want to go three, four, five games not having found the back of the net. Number four, Ki Sung Young. Newcastle United's lineup. Federico Fernandez replaces Kieran Clark, who's looked vulnerable recently. John Joe Shelby starts looking to recover his form, and it looks good in attack with these two strikers. This is the Cardiff City lineup today for you. It's a real group mentality in this lineup about pressing the opposition into making mistakes and cashing in on it straight away. Well, it takes a lot of energy, a lot of motivation. It's easy to drop off, and when you do drop off that really aggressive closing down, that's when it can fall down. Cardiff City hoping for another you, win. They played well last time out. They won at home against Huddersfield Town. Yeah, and uh, plenty to admire in that 1-0. Mind you, I don't think they're going to get another victory. I think it would be a draw. Really looking forward to this game as Newcastle get it underway. Sung Young Ki. Finn Bogerson. John Joe Shelby. Shot off! And that shot's blocked very quickly. It's a good cross. Goalkeeper opts to punch.
And they're looking good when they get the ball out wide, as they've done here. Oh, he spotted the pass and cut it out. Well, they're building steadily here, working away. And back it goes to the keeper. Bamba. Gregory Cunningham. Cunningham. They can spread the play now. Gunnarsson. Salah. Gunnarsson. It is a team that can really hurt you with the number of passes that they play. And shoots! That's a corner. Corner's taken. Defended well. Morrison. Coming in. Good asset. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. Well, the wide man can show his skills here. Key. Put into the middle. See the deflection. In there, corner. Swung in from the corner. Keeper up well to punch the corner. Key. We can cut it back now. John Joe Shelby. And now he's looking for some support. He's spotted a teammate and, and that's into the gloves of the goalkeeper. Not the hardest thing he'll have to do today by any means. Morrison. Cunningham. Here's Bennett. Morrison. Joseph Bennett. Gunnarsson. Gregory Cunningham. Interception here. Pimbogerson. Morrison. Could be a chance here. They've got the ball into a good area. Ben Bogerson. They can push on Newcastle from this wide position. It's not really a way. Poor clearance. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Ben Bogerson. The referee has indicated there will be a minimum of two Jake. minutes. It's easy for the goalkeeper coming out to collect. Well, we're halfway through. So here we go with the second half. Gunnarsson. Neatly intercepted. Cunningham. Good asset. This is an exercise in patience as they try to get an opening. Good clearance.
Gunnarsson. With 45 minutes gone, and on the first 45 minutes for this new club, how do you think he's done? Yeah, it was hard work for him in that first half. You could see him putting in a shift, but not much went right, and uh, he'll hope to improve in this second period. Coming up for you on EA Sports, don't forget, don't miss this, the coverage of the Premier League fixture for Newcastle United. They'll be hosting Manchester City. Yeah, it's got a good feel about it, that one. Look forward to joining you in the gantry for it. The shot's up! Into the bicycle kick. Oh, the keeper's kept it out somehow. What about Cardiff City in their next game, Alan? They're playing Liverpool in their next match in the FA Cup, and, uh, and uh, it's got the look of an extremely tight game. And that's dealt with the problem. A new signing for Spurs, Alan, we're hearing. Well, he'll certainly be happy with it, and I think maybe the buying club will too, because £40 million, around that figure anyway, seems uh, a reasonable price for somebody of his quality. Oh, charged down. This is up coming on for Newcastle. John Joe Shelby. Akio. Ben Bogerson. Little piece of interplay between the two. Now you can cross it. Key. Shot off. That's a big corner for Newcastle. Corner played into the middle. Excellent interception. Opportunity to cross it now. Sung Young Key. Surely he must have thought he'd scored. From that distance, the keeper had other ideas. That save, you know, we've just seen, it could go down as the save of the season. It was that good. Trying to steer it through. Shots on here. Not really tested the goalkeeper, but sometimes it can look a bit too easy. He made sure he made the save competently. Yeah, he did, and he doesn't make too many mistakes, this lad. Morrison. Bamba. Newcastle want to make this substitution now. Joseph Bennett. We've got ten minutes left on the clock. Strong clearance from the goalkeeper to get the ball away from the danger. He's cut it out in the nick of time. That could have been a goal-scoring opportunity this late in the game. That's some noise in this stadium at the moment. They're yeah, really expecting, demanding a goal in these uh, last minutes. Now, this is an interesting attack. Whipped in from the wide area. A goal at last! The first goal of the game. And we've waited well over an hour to get it. But it's the team that have looked the most likely that have done it. And maybe they will use this as a platform to go on to win now. But they will expect the opposition to come back at them. And they'll have to. So that goal has put Newcastle in front. Three minutes left of the 90-minute match. Cardiff City really on the attack now. John Joe Shelby. Only two more minutes to be added on by the referee now. Chance. It's another goal! Well, it's a super period of the game for this team. To get one goal was excellent, but now they've doubled their money. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. And there is the final whistle, and it's a win for Newcastle United. A good 
part of the season has gone now and they've lost and they can't go on losing matches like this. No, it can become a habit, a nasty one at this stage in the season. They've just got to try and correct one or two flaws that we saw out there. But when you've got a dodgy defence that the home team have, You've got to score, and they've scored plenty here. Yeah, you never quite know what's going to happen with this team because of that leaky defence, but today, those strikers certainly were at it. I'm a sceptic. Because God, I 